Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the single degree of freedom systems vibration. So in the last lecture, we discussed the vibration analysis procedure. So as we know that the first of all, we have to develop the mathematical model from the physical model. Then from the mathematical model, we need to develop the governing equations. After governing equation, we have to solve those equations. And at the end, we can interpret the results. So here we'll develop the equation of motion for simple spring mass system. So let's consider there is a spring. So let's consider this is spring of K stiffness, right? And the free length of this spring is given as L naught. So this is the free length. Now, if we attach the mass M to this spring, so this is the spring and there is a mass of m now there is a force mg in the downward direction and this spring will get stressed and this becomes l naught plus delta st this is the total length and this is the static equilibrium position this equation is static equilibrium position of this mass. So if we draw the free body diagram of this mass at this place, then this is the mass and this is the gravitational force in the downward direction. And there is a one force K delta ST, which is spring force in the upward direction, right? So this is the static equilibrium position. So now if we displace this mass with the displacement X in the downward direction, so we can say this would be the final position. M and let's say this is the X displacement in the downward direction. So if this is the displacement, then this would be the direction of X dot and X double dot in downward direction, right? So here, if we want to draw the free body diagram of this mass at this position, then the free body diagram would be, this is the mass and this is the Mg downward force and there would be a force because of the spring that would be K delta ST plus X, right? So, and if this is the direction of acceleration X double dot, then there would be one more force, which is inertia force. And that would be in the opposite direction of the direction of X double dot. So this would be one more force, which is M X double dot. So now if we, apply the Newton's second law, then we can write the equation M X double dot is equal to minus K X plus delta ST, right? Plus Mg. So Mg equals to W, which is weight of this mass, right? So this equation again, as we know that if we apply the equilibrium equation at this position, then we can say K delta ST is equal to Mg. So from here we can say K delta ST is equal to Mg. So if we replace this value, then we'll get Mx double dot is equal to minus Kx minus K delta ST plus Mg. And if we replace the K delta ST with Mg, then we'll have the equation Mx double dot is equal to minus Kx minus Mg plus Mg. So this K delta ST is equal to Mg. So here delta ST is equal to static deflection 
and this will get cancelled out and we'll have governing equation as mx double dot plus kx is equal to zero. So this is the governing equation of simple spring mass system. Now we can say here damping component is zero. So we can say this is undamped free vibration. Undamped free vibration equation for simple spring mass system. So now we got the governing equation. So thank you. In the next lecture, we'll discuss the next step, which is the solution of this governing equation. So thank you.